The Year of the Dragon! This is unmatched, unparalleled to any type of celebration that we've seen so far in the Philippines. That's it! Happy New Year! You do it! That's right! Hey. <laughs> What's going on, legends? Welcome to day two of Chinatown Chinese New Year in Manila. All right? We are absolutely blown away. We didn't think we'd really find the party, but it was so congested, traffic was so wild, and the, the main part of, of Binondo <coughs> Chinatown is, is really kind of dead quiet and compacted with traffic, but when you get over to this side around the circle, it's just unreal. It's unbelievable out here right now. This is just crazy. Wow. Well, hello there. Oh, hello. What's the matter? Are you tired of walking already? My back is really tired. Oh, I'll stretch it out later, baby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blow that back out. Problem. It is blown out. <laughs> oh. Well, there's a pretty sunset on the river. There is a pretty sunset. Yeah. What's going on? Welcome to a beautiful evening sunset here in Manila. We are on the uh, we are on the bridge that separates Old Town Historic District from uh, Minando Chinatown on the other side. Uh, we were actually on this bridge late last night. Um, early this morning. Early this morning. <laughs> yes. Yes. Early this morning we were on this bridge, and it's, um... Hey, more power to the guy who puts a gas-powered motor on his scooter, okay? I like it. This really is a beautiful city. A little compacted sometimes, but uh, definitely a beautiful city. What's up, bro? What's up, where you Hey, what's where you up? From, bro? Where are you from? I'm from Philippines. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey. I love you! <laughs> Guess I need to take a few photos, huh? Here, I'll let the wife vlog for a minute. I've been vlogging all afternoon. Oh yeah, passing it over. Responsibility! Responsibility! What's that? Responsibility, <laughs> not quite yet! My feet are tired. Thankful for this breeze though. This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous here. City is lighting up at night. It's a beautiful night. <laughs> I'm talented, y'all. She's talented at mischief, and when she does her talents, you hear that fucking laugh. <laughs> All right, you guys, I wore the wrong dress for today. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. <laughs> this dress does not breathe. You want and I should have wore my duckies. Can you feel the this is the entrance to Chinatown in Manila here in the Philippines. And this exact spot last night had about half a million people on it from one end to the other. Right here where we're standing now was where the stage was last night where the directors and the mayors and the governors of, of the area were all standing and all the municipalities. That is the bridge right there, if you take a look that way, where they had all the fireworks from. It was pretty intense, but it was fun. All right, let's go Chinatown. I love how this Chinese gate changes color. So pretty. Still lots of people here. Great. Holy traffic in Chinatown. Wow. You'd think it was Lunar New Year or something. <laughs> There's just too many video opportunities right now for creativeness. You're having creativeness? I've been having creativeness. There's, but I, I, I can't script you to do it all. All right, welcome to Chinatown, the oldest Chinatown in the world. We are here in the heart of Manila right now. And when I mean the heart of it, look at this. This, this is crazy right here. You can, basically I can get there faster than any of these people driving is the ironic part. But <laughs> this is chaos at its finest here, folks. We are just 
making our way downtown, walking past. <laughs> but you know what? We're making good time. Look at these guys. Traffic jammed out. Hey! hey traffic jams. Look at this. I can walk around traffic. It's so busy. It's so tight. Look at this. Whoop. Whoop. I'll get there faster than everybody else will. Chinese New Year in the Philippines. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, is it worth it to come down to all this shit? There are most days where you guys gotta realize, I've got a lot of social anxiety. I have a lot of society-based anxiety where I don't trust being in large crowds and, and large populations. We do this kind of stuff for you guys. 100% we do all of this for you. I would much rather stay on the beach, drink my rum, and never talk to anybody but the fish and my wife ever again. So, for the sake of you guys and the sake of global entertainment, we're here, packed in like sardines. For it being the oldest Chinatown in the world, it's kind of like the most spread out and thin Chinatown. Like, you go to Chinatown in Bangkok, and I mean, it's wall-to-wall -wall Chinese, it's wall-to-wall -wall food, wall-to-wall -wall gold, herbal medicines. There's an entire street in Bangkok's Chinatown full of uh, shark fin soup and bird's nest bars. All right, so we have walked basically through the entire downtown Chinatown of Manila and we haven't really found anything. So I, I think it's really just centralized in one location. And I think this one last street down here, Ongpin Street, is where everything is located for this festival. There's these noodle shops that have like 200 people in line to queue for them. That's pretty heavy duty. Guys, wow. I just watched you like a week ago, eh? every day. Oh, I yeah? I'm from Bohol. Oh! Kababayans. That's it. Yeah, we're going back in three days. We're on the... Uh, to, uh, we live in Gindelman. I, yeah, I know. I said so. Hey, I... I do like fishing, everything. Every day. Yes. We got a loyal fan here. That's great. Come to Bohol. I, I, I want to see you guys. Huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. are you coming back? Uh, so the whole week, the whole week. Because uh, I still work. I'm okay. Working. Are you going to be there for Sinolog? Bohol. 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 Soon. Bohol. Soon. <laughs> okay. Hey, God bless. We'll see you soon. Okay. Bye, Auntie. Thank you. Loyal fans. Watch you every day, he said. Yeah. It's awesome. To top off the loyal fan, I think we found... Think we found it. I'm wow. There might be 500 people in line for that place right there. That's nuts. <laughs> We're here! Oh my god. Wow. And they all have their duckies on. I know! I didn't wear my duckies! Like, you literally bought three of them. I did. Oh, lasones. Tell you what, you're crazy if you're trying to get in line for food. Oh yeah. And uh, again, we really love to vlog side by side so that we can talk, but it doesn't it's happen impossible. in these crowds. Yeah. So once again, we're gonna start making our way down here. We'll try to get around the Lazone car lane. You lead. And I'm gonna lead to plow the road. Because you're the bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hi, <laughs> Lazones. The oldest fast food restaurant in Chinatown. Wow, that explains a lot. There's like a thousand people in line for that place. Oh, look at the little dragon. I like it. That's awesome. That's a DIY dragon, Filipino style. I love it. There must be a thousand people in line for that restaurant. That's crazy. Luckily, the traffic has a flow. Everything's going one way and one, one side and one way on the other. So I think we're doing okay right now. It's a lot easier than last night. A lot easier. And being the only one over six foot tall around here, I can tell you everything that's coming up in the next 100 meters, so it's great. <laughs> the few Chinese restaurants that are here that are open, it's just insane. Yeah, this is nuts. Look at this. So if you take a look here at the lines, right? Look 
at these lines to get into these places? Like, how do you even figure it out, you know? How do you even... <laughs> That's dedication, though. Magic water, Mom. Magic water. <laughs> My magic water? On the way. <laughs> Spicy peanuts. Look at how yummy those look. Just the smell of the garlic and the pepper chilies and... Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> this is just wild. Hey, what's up boys? Pretty sure I see Mickey Mouse over here. Bootleg Chinese Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse looks like he's on Kratom. Uh, we're gonna have to walk into the street. Let's go. We're just part of traffic at this point. Don't worry about uh, air quality right now, babe. Literally moving as fast as traffic. This is the Philippines on Chinese New Year right here. This, this is maximum level here. All right, let's rock, let's rock. Here we go. Keep a hold of me there, babe. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. All right, we're crossing. Woo. Right here. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Looks like we found the main area here. And we're just gonna walk with the traffic. <laughs> it's unbelievable out here right now. This is just crazy. Okay, this feels more like a party. These are pretty much the coolest vans on earth. America, you've never seen these vans before. They don't make minivans like that. It's not even a minivan, it's a grand van. It's like the Escalade of vans. Yeah, I want one. Things are so friggin' cool. How are you doing? Better now, actually. Yeah? I was about ready to be like, okay, well, let's go back to the hotel and... Oh, because that street? Fast. Yeah. Yeah, there was just nothing. And then you find the people. It's like, ooh, people. <laughs> and then you feed off their energy. Yeah. And you're like, all right, let's go. Let's keep going. Yeah. You know, most people don't know why, but we're here. <laughs> we are absolutely blown away. We didn't think we'd really find the party, but it was so congested, traffic was so wild, and the, the main part of, of Binondo <coughs> Chinatown is, is really kind of dead quiet and compacted with traffic. But when you get over to this side around the circle, it's just unreal. It's unreal how crazy, packed, busy it is. There's so many food stalls and stands selling delicious food over here right now. We're getting ready to go inside. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me. There's speakers everywhere, but we are here for night number two in Manila. The queen's right there. I'm so <laughs> stoked and I'm so blessed to have her by my side. It's been an unbelievable couple of days here in Manila already. We definitely know now for sure that we need to come back to Manila really, really soon. So stand by for more. We're getting ready to walk inside. Here comes some music. We'll talk to you guys in a minute. It's time for Chinatown. Chinese New Year night number two, folks. Let's do this! So the interesting part and the way it all kind of works at this point for us as vloggers is basically, we honestly just have to like keep the camera rolling at this yeah. point because you really don't know what you're gonna walk into and you don't know who you're gonna walk into. At this point, we're gonna keep the camera rolling the whole time. We're just entering the circle of the park here and we're gonna go over and try to get a little angle at the fountain and then walk around and take a look at all the food and the deliciousness that's around here. This is insane. All right. The highlight of Manila, the highlight of the culture in Chinatown, and then of course there's the realities. The piles of trash. Doesn't matter where you're at and what fiesta, the streets get covered. It's a sad but true fact there. Uh, the fountain's pretty cool though. I like this fountain, I wonder how old it is. I'm not gonna do the research, but hey, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so, all right, well, let's go ahead and try not to contribute to the masses of uh, trash and microplastics on the ground everywhere. And let's see if we can have a good time. There's so many stalls. I really didn't even know where to start. 
and to be honest, Alyssa knows this. If if I feel like I'm waiting more than 10 minutes, I'm not getting in line. That's just the thing for me. I won't. It's not that I won't. I can't. I get a little bit too much anxiety with it. So there's some good looking food around here, though. I don't think Alyssa can see over people's heads to see what it is, but. Wow. Okay. I'm stoked. That's two fans we've seen already. We've met two Legends crew members already in two days here. We're not even at 20,000 subs yet. So to me, that, that's a great feeling. We're not even at 20,000 subs yet. And we, we're walking the streets of Manila and people recognize us. DIY celebrity status, baby. That's right. High five. Bam. Okay. 430 years of Chinatown. 430 years. Take a look at this, folks. It's pretty cool up here. My baby. Wow. Hi. Hi. Chinatown. If you're not here, you missed out. These are cues for food. These lines are for food. And this is why like we won't eat here. We'll eat in the streets where we go back to our hotel. And we know there's good food there. But there's no way my anxiety and social anxieties can wait in a line 100, 200 people long. There are some fireworks and dancing dragons on stage. Maybe we can get close. I thought it was a large crowd of people for the stage, but it's a large crowd of people for food. Sad but true, the one thing that the Filipinos do right is pack into a show. Yeah. They like they the don't matter, mind getting shoulder to oh shoulder. Oh my and god, like there's each other. like if you're not four to five hours ahead of time for a show, yeah. you're not getting into that front piece to even see the show. We've been to some major events in Bahol and Cebu and Dumaguete and places where like we're like oh we're on time we're great we're you know we, we're now early and they're already like venue closed maximum right. capacity right. should have been here yesterday <laughs> it's something that you definitely learn here in the Philippines these guys pack in and they pack in hard all right you guys well we came we wanted to show you the show but we can't see it so once again the Philippines decided to make a show where only five percent can see it they do that in Bohol too. They do that at, at, at Sandugo as well. They set up a stage where only this many people can see it instead of a vast viewpoint. Makes it kind of tough. <laughs> Happy Lunar New Year! Happy Lunar New Year, y'all. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Coming up in our next episode, we spend the day exploring the World War II Filipino and American Memorial and cemetery. Truly a humbling and tear-jerking experience, especially for me being a Navy veteran who served in the Philippines. It really is a beautiful place. <laughs> I just gotta get out of here before I start crying again. Aw, let it go. You'll feel better.